This is the first video on how to build the cabinet for the battery bank. The next videos are going to be showing you on what components to purchase and how to wire them together. All right, now let's start some assembly. Using our bottom support, let's apply a little glue. A little trick that I use is I use a speed square. And that allows me to line up my my edges. See just like that. Now we're going to put in our bottom shelf. And this is a little tricky doing with one person, but you can do it. Now we're going to attach the other side. Like so. I'm going to uh, glue and nail, you can glue and screw it, uh, the mid-level support, just like that. And what this allows is a very sturdy, strong case without having to do a lot of fancy uh, joinery with dados and that sort of thing. So, let's get on with it. We're ready for our battery shelf. We just set it down on our supports.
because these batteries are so very heavy, the marine batteries, <coughs> we're also going to put a ledge assist in the front of this cabinet and um, make sure that the shelf doesn't uh, eventually sag. So that's what we're doing here. This is one of the most important steps of building any kind of a cabinet, and that's squaring it up. And you square a cabinet up by the back. Make sure your panel's uh, square, and then bring the edges up and around so that it's squared. Okay, That's the quickest, easiest way to square something like this. I've got one other uh, trick for you. I want to put a couple of nails into this shelf on the back. Okay. And the way that I do that is I put a pencil line on those two shelves, okay? And then I flip the back around, and I have where those shelves are, and I know to come down, you know, a little bit further down, and I'll be right in the middle of that three-quarter inch shelf, and that's where I'll shoot it. So let's square this carcass up. Bring it right to the corner. And walk it along its edge. That's all there is to it. Okay, it's now time to attach paneling to it to hide the uh, plywood. You have a bunch of different options here. You can glue it. Okay, We're going to just tack it with some brads, but you could also put uh, one by fours and nail that and that'll pinch it so it won't fall off. You could also put the one by fours around it, cut this smaller, stick it in and have the molding hold it in. So there's a bunch of different ways to do it, but this is the way I'm going to do it. That's all there is to it. All right, to dress up the outside of the box, this isn't necessary. If you just wanted to go straight to painting, you could. Um, but we're going to make this frame. And there's many different ways to make this. If you want to just shoot it and put the boards up against each other, you can. I'm going to use a Craig jig and make the frame. And the way that I do that is over here. Okay, just center your hole. you end up with something like that. All right, the way I assemble the frame is I put a dab of glue on the end, like so. I join my sticks up and line them up. And using a Craig clamp, okay, I'll put them together like so, and that keeps the two surfaces flush with each other. And just use a, a drill, I join them together. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Okay, let's attach our frame to the end panel. And again, using my speed square, I kind of line everything up, make sure that it's, it's flush. And then I shoot it.
I did a video a while ago on making a $10 door. And they are super fast, and they really are inexpensive to make. <coughs> so for more details, go ahead and look at that video. But I'll show you how I made these real quick. This is going to go on the front of our cabinet. Okay. So let me pull this one aside and show you how I'll, I'll make this one here. Again, just as I've done everything, just cut the pieces to length. I use pocket screws. And then I glue this on and I brad nail it. And the only reason for the brad nail is to hold it in place until the glue can dry. Real simple. Here it is. If you notice, these are the $10 doors if you go and look at, in a back episode. Um, the top comes off to easily access the batteries. You can slide them in or access the top of them. Uh, you can make the lid any way that you want. I had extra maple flooring from a job, so I just used three quarter inch plywood and nailed them to it. Just drove the nails right into the back. You can use tile. You could uh, just stain or paint it. It's all up to you. And then I attached a piece of trim all the way around. And I put cleats on it so that I didn't need to have a hinge system and a lid support system. Saved a little extra money there. I did a cutout for the back so that the inverter would be able to uh, cool itself down and a, a storage space for the battery charger and some extra cords. <laughs> 